Siemens PowerMod with Quick System is a robust, flexible, and feature-rich line of modular metering. This video will help review and explain some of the installation instructions that come included with the product. If instructions are followed correctly, Siemens PowerMod can be installed up to 43% faster than our competitors' products. All modules ship with an alignment rail, also known as a Z-rail. These rails are proportionate with the unit's length and are shipped within the enclosure. Longer Z-rails can also be purchased for improved ease of installation and reduced installation time. It is recommended to install the main breaker and tap box modules on the wall first and then install meter stacks afterward. A few actions must be completed prior to mounting the first enclosure. First, remove the plastic closure plates from the sides of the unit along with the attached hardware. Be sure to retain this equipment for future use. Do not throw these pieces away as they may be needed to cover the exposed bussing on the ends of the completed lineup later. Take the cover off of the unit. Additional attachment points are available for added connection rigidity to the wall or adjacent modules. If these optional attachment points will be used, then the small knockouts must be removed prior to mounting the enclosure. However, using these points is not required. Now, swing the mounting tabs to the outward position. Mount the unit onto the alignment rail on the wall. The quick roll feature allows you to easily roll the unit to the appropriate position. Use screws to fasten the unit to the wall. You can use either the mounting holes along the back wall, the mounting tabs on the outside of the unit, or a combination of both. Typically, meter stacks are installed following the mains and tap boxes, but the order shouldn't have much of an effect on the outcome. Each stack should include installation components inside the unit, including the Quick Connect and Z rail. Remove any knockouts on your modules prior to mounting them on the wall. That is unless the wire will be exiting out of the removable knockout plates, in which case you can remove the plate and remove those knockouts at any time and replace the plate when ready. The QC coupler or Quick Connect ships inside the components box. Remove the Quick Connect and loosen it prior to installation. For best results, loosen the Quick Connect so that the top of the bolt is halfway down the Quick Torque nut. Ensure all plates and bolt heads sit comfortably in their housings. Install the Quick Connect. It should slide in easily. Be sure to verify the bolt head sits snugly in the grounding brackets. These brackets transmit the grounding path between modules through the bolt head. The top of the bolt has a torque indicating nut. It will shear off when the appropriate amount of torque is reached when tightening. Once the Quick Connect is in place, slide the second module up against the first. Check the units for proper alignment and then pull the Quick Bolt straps so the spring bolts protrude out the other side. This may require slight adjustments. These straps must be removed prior to energizing the unit. These bolts have unthreaded tips allowing wing nuts to be installed quickly and easily when tightening the modules together. In outdoor applications, it is required to install wing nuts on all of the spring bolts to maintain weather resistance. These wing nuts are recommended, but not required in indoor NEMA 1 applications. After the wing nuts are in place, proceed to tighten the quick connect until the bolt head shears off. Then remove the shear nut and red separator slip from the quick torque operation. If you are installing a NEMA 3R residential stack, the neutral and ground lugs will be in their lowest positions, but they can be moved to the top position to save space and wire. If the NEMA 1 versions of the residential meter stacks are ordered, the neutral and ground lugs will ship from the factory in the top positions. The NEMA 3R meter stacks will also have a blank top end wall with center punch dimples which recommend where to cut the holes for wires that will be exiting out of the top. Installing breakers is very simple with Siemens PowerMod stacks, as they are all plug-on style. In 225 amp rated meter stacks, both the QS and QP breakers plug into the same breaker bases. If mixing breakers in one stack, it is a requirement to install the QP breakers below the QS breakers. Wires will land on the bottom of the QP breakers, but will enter the QS breakers from the side. 
Our quick phase feature means socket positions can be rephased individually when it comes to load balancing. This is true for all PowerMod residential meter stacks. The only exceptions are 225 amp rated lever bypass meter stacks, which are factory phased. Once all of the modules are mounted and connected to one another on the wall, retrieve the WMEP plates from earlier and install them over the exposed bussing on the ends of the lineup. Be sure to install the sailing screw closest to the locking loop on the plate. Siemens, ingenuity for life.